Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, T. Jesse, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to another modern cube. Oh, look at this! Look at this piece of garbage. <clears throat> I was so upset at myself. On the other hand, um, I mean, you can't attack with Wall of Blossoms uh, in, in an Ogre Battle Driver the same way you can with Elvish Visionary. So it's definitely there's pros and cons to each, you know. But Wall of Blossoms does help keep you alive. I'm gonna take this bribery. I don't think it's even close. Force Mono Red. Why are you like this? Personality. <coughs> that Warp World deck was gas. <clears throat> Bribery is a dumb card. All these things are true. What's up, kitty cat? Oh, kitty cats. Oh, kitty cats. What are you doing, kitty cats? What about Urza? Fallen Shinobi. Oh, boy. Oh, that's exciting as hell. Oh, boy. Do I want to be Fallen shinobi -ing? Now I need to get a hundred bucks worth of part. I mean, you could just play their album masters. Ask Jake. Jake will probably give you a good deal. Hold on a second. Let me see. Let me check something. Hey, not on the. Hunter's chewing his bone on the bed. I'm gonna take this fallen shinobi, and then I'm gonna then I'm gonna stop him from doing this. Back it on up. All right, we did it. <clears throat> yeah, Fallen Shinobi is one of my top boys. Oh, what if we go turn four Venser into turn five Fallen Shinobi, bounce the Venser? That seems fantastic. Love it. I'll take a Venser. <clears throat> Mana Leak's good too, but Venser goes with the the Fallen Shinobi that we just took. So does Murderous Red Cap. Ooh, Murderous Red Cap, kill your guy. Bounce my Murderous Red Cap, kill the other guy. Yeah, I like that. That seems nice. First pick, Burberry. Jake, what's going on, buddy? I think I will have some details for you today or tomorrow. I'm sorry I keep having to to do the thing. I like Chupacabra a lot. I also just like Orzhov's Signet here. <clears throat> nice blockers, idiot. Wow, why you gonna you don't have to be so mean. Both of these are very good. I think I could just take the the Chupacabra. I think there's plenty of signets here. Thassa might even table, to be honest. Threads of disloyalty. Hmm. I don't know if that's any good. Yeah, I think bringing the dogs is probably the best bet. If you have to, if you, <clears throat> if you can't, if you can't, he's old and diabetic and blind and doesn't like cars. Oh, well, this is, this is no good. Rogue might be better, but we have three four drops that all have enters battlefield abilities. I don't want a million four drops is really the problem. I kind of just want Doomfall. I think it's probably better than... Ooh, see, but this is a 4-drop I'll make an exception for. Because that is a juicy one. <coughs> I think it's just Sword of Feast and Famine. I think it's better than Harbinger. I don't care about Slaughter Pact. Sword of Feast and Famine is one of the better swords, so... Personality... 
All right, well, none of these cards are super exciting. Sun Titan? Sun Titan's great, except for all of our relevant cards are in the four spot. I am really enjoying the uh, the Eldrain preview so far. Please keep an eye out for the VAT if it comes back. I know you aren't a fan, but it might work. How dare you talk to me like that? How dare you, Benjamin? <coughs> Urza came back. Another four drop with Enders the Battle. Every four drop we have does something cool. I'm still going to take it. It's still very good. Now I really want a Signet. More like no, <clears throat> no Benjamins, if you know what I mean. All of these four drops are good, though. Like, I can't even complain. I mean, I can. Who's going to listen? Josh, who was on the side of Ashiokas Bonkers? Because that's where I, that's where I sit. Ah, uh, clearly you are the one who who doesn't think. How? What? How? And what? I don't know how you can watch as many streams as I do and not not think Ashiok is good. Ooh, Thassa came back. Also with Venser, Urzan. Glenlander Archmage, we could like actually turn Thassa into a Ooh, that's actually that's that was another card I was actually looking at in the last pack, because it's a nice not four drop. But like you're considering even the times it does nothing, it's still preventing like eight damage. You know, so like you plus Ashiok to five, then you plus it to seven, then you plus it to nine, like they're dealing damage to Ashiok every time instead of you, and like they have to actually kill it. Or else you just win the game. Like, I think you're overlooking the fact that, like, it prevents a lot of damage while it's doing nothing. <clears throat> so it's either winning you the game or gaining you, like, 10 life. Plus, it is, yeah, it is a single card as well. I think it is Watery Grave, yeah. And I, I hope either, like, Spell Skate or Dismember comes back. But, yeah, we're going to take the the dual land. The dual, dual land. Okay, so we have literally not a single instant so far, so I don't like Torrential Gear Hulk here. Vizier is my pick here, but <clears throat> I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, we have a lot of four drops. It's still very, very good. Or very, very good, rather. I, I, could, I could take or leave Narset here. Personality. It could be map. I just think Vizier is so good. I think it's one of my favorite clone effects, just because it's two clones in one. <clears throat> we could also audible to Grixis and play this Chandra. I think it is Vizier. I mean, like, even if we have to, like, replace one of these guys, I think it's fine. I think we're taking the Izzet Signet because of the, the high number of four drops we have. I think I think a, an on-color Signet's just too good to, to pass up here. <clears throat> Excuse me about the... Sorry, my throat's a little scratchy right now. I don't know why. I like Force of Negation. It kind of protects our... No, it doesn't. Um, Mindstone is actually probably just fine. I don't think we want a million four drop, but also the Mindstone does make our Urza a little better too. Let's take the Mindstone. I like a simple Doomblade. I'm a simple man. I see a Doomblade. I kill a creature. Search for Azkanta is also very, very good. Get in the zone! The Mind Stone. <clears throat> Mind Stone is also uh, one of the Infinity Infinity Gems. So, I actually like search for Azkanta here. I mean, I could probably see taking Blade over Search. We have no like real removal here, other than like Chupacabra and Murderous Redcap. <clears throat> I like. I think. Oh, 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 boy. Oh, boy. Get out of here, dude. Um, Am I weird for loving Ulamog? No. Is it greedy? A little bit. But I don't think those are the same. Glintsleaf Siphoner seems great. Metamorph? Yes, we will Metamorph. Alright, this deck is looking spicy. 
Dismember or Spellskite? Hmm. I kind of like Spellskite here because it can redirect from all of our... Yeah, I'm taking the Spellskite. <clears throat> Walking Ballista? Mm, you're fine with, with... Yeah, this deck just... This, this pack was great. Oh, what up, Robert? Robert. Robert. Auger of Bolus, not gonna play you. You're kind of terrible. <clears throat> Rob's gonna be coming over this Friday and hanging out and playing some modern. We got a Ulmog. I think Kira's actually really good for our deck. It makes me want to not play the sword, though. Thassa and but oh, Kira's actually great with Thassa. It's kind of a it kind of it's kind of a wash, right? Like because you it, you have to target your creatures with with unblockability twice. But, um, you know, you get two more pips to turn Thass into a 5-5, five five, so. We got a whole other pack. Our deck seems great. That pack was great for us. <clears throat> Rob, I also filed a complaint online yesterday. I filed a second one because we haven't heard back for like 10 days. And I'm like, this is a ridiculous amount of time to wait for for a response from a from a from a sizable company like so i actually filed one the day it happened on on april like 28th and then i find another one found filed another one yesterday oh look it's your boy oh uh, hodge Glossy, we can we can play your deck tomorrow if that's what you'd like um i'd have to figure out what time though i i've got to go to dinner with my parents tomorrow so i'm not sure what time i'll be on but I will definitely be streaming, so. I'm going to take Ashiok here. Um, yeah, our deck looks pretty sweet. Ashiok might wheel? That's never going to happen. <laughs> that would actually legit never happen. Never happen. Well, all of ice cream, what's going on? Congrats on tra changing your YouTube profile picture. Sheldock Isle. Sheldock Isle. Two man raid. Hey man. Raid is raid. I appreciate the effort and the gesture. You are awesome, dude. Sheldock Isle or Dark Slick Shores? Hmm. Well, of ice cream at the reset. Thank you so much, dude. You are awesome. Uh, I am never sad to pass Bob. Like, I'm never like, oh, this is Bob deck. I'll be taking like. I'll take like 13 damage in this deck. That's not. That's not reasonable. I think I just want Dark Slick Shores. We don't have any super like really crazy top end cards that are really like gonna blow my mind here. If we hit them, I don't think we're a Tassiger deck. I, I kind of like Factor Fiction here to be honest. I mean, Jesus, these four drops. If we can get a Zemir Signet to come our way. <clears throat> wow, Mediocre Magic Man. That's literally exactly what I said. I take Shores. You have anything crazy to hit with Shelldock? Yeah. I'm like, oh, cool. We can hit a four drop. Like, it's 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 great. It's a, it's value, but like, <clears throat> so is fixing. We need to do a stop when I'm there, that we have to take and play Bob. He means stip, but he's like he's got like the fat fingers, so he fat fingers his phone all the time. I think it is. It could be Tassiger, but I don't think we need more creatures. And we all we're not a we're not a, a delve deck for sure. Oh, I love a Liliana Dreadhorde General. I think more than a Creeping Tarpet. This is a nice card to have at your top end. Yeah, I'm just taking that. I'm sorry. It, depending on who's in blue-black, the Creeping Tarpet might actually come back. I doubt Liliana would. Hmm. Is it just Jace here? Our bottom end? What does that even what does that even mean? I 
I have no idea what to take. It's either Jace or Dungeon Geist or Languish. He names the three cards in his colors. I think it's just Jace. Four drops we don't really need. I don't know for a Languish deck. <clears throat> oh, Obnixilus and Masquerum, huh? Hmm. I love an Obnixilus, but I also love a Masquerum. You are speaking my own languages here. Bottom end means we put it in our main board. Oh, God. Oh, Karakong. Oh, God. Not great, Bob. I love... I really... I This is one of my favorite. I just I just have a soft spot for this Obnixilus here. Unburial Rites is interesting. We don't have any... Wood. If I had, like... If I had, like, a Godless Shrine, I'd probably consider taking Unburial Rites just for the splash. If this is an Orzhov Signet, like, from our first pack, I would take it. I'm just going to take the Kalidus. <laughs> oh god Frank just shut up you idiot there's the godless shrine guys I like Seagate Oracle Seagate Oracle is also great for Fallen Shinobi let's do that thing in the ice thing in the ice gonna burst up and up thing in the ice also keep in mind Spellskite can attack so if they have no creatures, we can just attack with Spellskite and bounce with Fallen Shinobi. That is a weird thing, but it is a thing. I don't know if I want Kira in here. I don't know if I want Doomfall in here. I don't know if I want Thassa in here. Shambling Vent. So many ways to play that Umbrella Rights. Dark Confidant. We're not a Dark Confidant deck, guys. I'll take the Shambling Vents. Oh, I'll take a Tasker. I kind of like the find port of this just to just to get two creatures back. We have a lot of value creatures. I think it's better than a random Bells and Lock. We do have Hissing Quagmire if we want to play this Garrick. Unfortunately, that's the only thing we have. And this Blossoming Marsh. Blooming Marsh. Blossoming Blooming Marsh. Thank you. Waylander, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Let me actually return these cards real quick. Uh, buddies. Oh, they're both busy. That's unfortunate. How many? Jaybro with 12? Okay. I think I got like one. I feel like I don't play for trophies, though. I feel like I just play for, for funsies. Like, I draft what I want to. Just making sure this busy is correct. Hmm. Are we doing a sip? No. We're just drafting. And this is uh, manatraders.com. You guys can check them out. You can get 20% off your first three months of any subscription with the link and the promo code in my description below. So be sure to check that out. They have a great subscription service for Magic Online. And I was just returning my my borrowed cards. All right, 25 cards. I do like Spellskite. I think... Jeez. Oh, it's definitely one of these four drops or two of these four drops or some number of four drops. Because Fallen Shinobi is also kind of a four drop. I don't want to take a three drop out. Kira is also great with Fallen Shinobi because, like, you're attacking and they can't kill it. I think we can probably take Urza out. Urza's. Is... Eh, we have a decent number of artifacts. I actually like Red Cap because we don't have a ton of removal. And it's a great card to bounce. Maybe it's Red Cap, though. We have 15 creatures. We can probably take out, like,. Urza actually doesn't seem bad with these, all of these things. But it's not great either. But if you have like, God, Urza's a great mana sink. Like if you just have five mana every turn, you can just play free sh shit off the top. Alright, we'll go with Red Cap. I don't like Urza or Red Cap. My name is Robert. I think we can take Thassa out. Thassa seems pretty underwhelming here. Although we, like, we'd have to have two of these guys out. And 
This is not really attacking. She can make something unblockable, but... My name is Robert, and I don't like these two cards in your deck. I'm going to keep the sword in. It's a, it's a no, it's obnoxious with Thassa or Akira, but, like, even if you pay four mana to equip a sword, like, you're getting to untap the mana. Eight, seven, done. Make sure everything else is good. Yeah, I like this. Midnight Reaper's fine. It's a, it's a fine dude. This sounds good. I am a fan. So long, Seagate Oracle. I hardly knew you. Ideally, they take Vizier of many faces. Oh look, they took the exact card I thought they would take. Well. Not an ideal number of lands. I have no idea what's going on in chat right now. All right, you get my Vizier many faces. Kind of not a big deal because it's got flashback. Red cap. Chupacabra? Probably just playing Chupacabra. I mean, like, the problem is, like, if we draw... Not the problem, but, like, the potential of drawing uh, Fallen Shinobi next turn, returning our Chupacabra, and then uh, not having a great blocker for it is pretty good. I mean, they could... Force, no, they can't force a will. <laughs> Just let this dude die. Oh, the suck off the mic clip was fan. This was fantastic. <clears throat> fallen Shinobi. That is not a fallen Shinobi. I'm just gonna draw a card here. Kira. Sure. A Jace Bellerin would be nice here. So these went into their hand. Nice to know. Ooh, boy. Okay. So we know they have these two in hand and then a, some nonsense, huh? Well, I'll play by a uh, counter spell. Sure. How do you not know about Scrobers and Bobers after you've been a subscriber? After you've been like, 
part of this this channel for like 30 months, man. That's crazy to me. I don't actually think I want to attack here, right? Um, do we just Vizier many faces that guy? That feels decent. I guess they could actually fatal push it. Not really though, right? Could also just Glenlander Archmage here. Uh, so we, we could also copy the Chupacabra and kill the Mentor. I like that better. Oh, look at that white ravenous chupacabra. Oh, it's because it's uh yeah, because it's embalmed. That's that's sick. Ooh. -wee. Could have actually attacked now. But if we attack then they kill the ravenous chupacabra with the fiddle bush. So, who knows, man. Magic's hard. <clears throat> Island presumably gone. Fumigate. Sure. Get rid of my tutus. Eyes without a face. Dragon Lord Sulamgar. That's a good one. That is a good one. This is way too many lands, man. That's a little Narset. Did you guys hear from the email I say? I did not. But you would know, because uh, you would know. Because I would have responded to it. I looked at it today, and I was like, oh, I still need to get back to the, the Urchai. Good old the Urchai. That's true, but I can I know also I also get the fact that that was just your way of uh, bringing it up, right? Like, Dismember. Okay. So they can, yep, they're going to dismember that, obviously. So we know they have Fatal Push in one other card, and that's it. I 
Now I have no cards in hand. I don't know why I played that, but what are you going to do? Sure. Dragonlord Slumgar is actually a pretty problematic card to deal with here. I mean, we could Doomblade it. <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, Creeping Tarpit sounds fine right now, but I'd also rather draw like Liliana here. I mean, obviously not now, but... Oh, interesting. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Do they block here? I mean, if we factor fiction... What if they let it resolve? Because they think it's drawing. They didn't. We did that first because I wanted them to have a 1 1 for blocking purposes, not a 2 2, so. Yep, now they're gonna kill this. It does turn on their Fatal Push, but it's basically the same as them blocking here anyway, so. Like, there's no real way around it, but at least this gets rid of the Fatal Push, so. Sure. I mean, that's the only choice. Like, you're getting rid of a Negate here. I mean, now you can either lose... I mean, you get to, you get to lose Glenlinger, Archmage, or Narset, so that's pretty fine with me. Yeah, I'm okay with losing Narset. I don't know why they didn't activate Narset last turn. Bounce your construct, right? Yeah, we could have countered it. I don't I don't think it's worth countering though. Like we don't have a ton of instants in the deck, so I'm not really like super worried about it. In fact, almost everything we do have in the deck is is a creature, so I think Tefri's obnoxious, but I don't think it's like you have to counter this obnoxious. Sure. This I will counter because I like having Glenelinger Archmage in the graveyard because we do have Scarab God. Damn it. <laughs> oh, they call my bluff. That's fine. I mean, the thing is, like, Venser's not doing anything on this board, so...
Vesser Jenkins. Um, I tempted to just cast this. I'll be honest with you. If we draw a Sword of Feast or Famine, it's nice. Plus, I think the odds of us like ninjutsuing it in is pretty low now. Okay, they have one card in hand, and a Tefri that doesn't do a ton. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Sure. That's insanely obnoxious. That's probably the most obnoxious bullshit you can face in this fucking queue. This is the, this is my least favorite part. Like, I've played against this combination of, of Tefri's, like, at least twice now. And it's so, so fucking stupid. Like, I'm just done. Like, I don't want to play against this in Standard. And this is why I don't play Standard, because of these two idiots. Yeah, cool. I've drawn 4, 8, 9, 11 lands this game. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I mean, it's pretty obvious I don't play that much standard, right? Like, I just don't. Plus, like, there are so many cube decks that operate at instant speed, like, that do things at instant speed, like... It's just kind of weird. I mean, bribery looks good here. I kind of like the find just to get two creatures back. Spells get any good? Like, I wouldn't want to redirect their Dragon Lord Silumgar. I could redirect, like, Fatal Push. I could redirect... Tefri, like, Tucker Bounce. I mean, they have Dragonlord Silumgar and Glenelanger Archmage. I think having Vizier is great here. They also double thought seized us this game, which was fun. Yeah, so Thassa enabling the Jitsu means we have to have seven mana, which is, I mean, I don't know. It's helpful, but it's not like I'd rather not have a, a Thassa that could be a blank just to just to get through a um, like because because we only have one Ninjutsu card, so I'm not like. This is just wonderful. Good times. Everything is all right. Teferi, Teferi, thought Thoughtseize, Snapcaster. Solid combination of cards. Sorry about the, the string of profanity earlier as well. It's not usually... Uh, I'm not usually that profane, I guess. But, uh, yeah, that's what I figured you'd take, obviously. Seems like a pretty easy choice. Also, Sword into Urza seems good. I'm no expert, but... But I mean, like, when I'm playing against double Tefri in, in, in a cube, when it's, the, when it's like my escape from standard, it's like, just miserable. Uptight! Snapcaster is alright every day! Make me discard. Oh, two games in a row, huh? Seems good. Like, this is literally the kind of time where I'm like, must be nice.
Seems good. Glenelendra Archmage. Yeah, a little tougher. Sure, you got it. Well, that's interesting. I mean, if their last card, if one of their one of their cards is uh, fatal push, it's kind of obnoxious. So, I mean, like it's gonna kill the spell skite anyway here. So, I'm just gonna spell skite and keep up. You know how we finish each other's sentences? <laughs> oh, Jesus. So just to be clear, the opponent went thought cat thoughtsies. Snapcaster Thoughtsies, Teferi, Teferi. I just want to be clear that that's the series of fucking plays that we've had to deal with this this match. It's insanely stupid. So they have two Teferis on board. Seems good. I played against eight, uh, four Thought Seizes and four Teferis in two matches, two games. Pretty cool. Absolutely cool. Four thought seizes, four teferies. <laughs> fucking amazing. Really enjoyable cube, guys. Really enjoyable cube. Uh, no blocks. I don't have float. Oh, 
look at those little guys. He knows I won't take it off, so he just knocks things over with it and stares at me. Oh, Jesus. Thank you. Pilot Evan, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Ten months. We're closing in on a year, my dude. Closing in on a year. I like this Glenelg versus the... Uh, the Grixis decks because great I have caps on One, Big Teffrey is rotating out of standard, Buck. Yeah, one, I won't be playing standard until that happens, Buck. Alistair Kane, thank you, buddy. You are awesome. So if I lose, I won't feel that bad. I'm like... Hey, anytime. Glad I could help. Badger, I will definitely play your deck before then. There's the me on Grand Tower alone on the sea. Well, you became Phyrexian Metamorph, copying Glenelg, your Archmage. Let's pay it. One, two, three. Copy Big Glens. Let's do some attacking. All right, we can do this. Uh oh. Ooh. Ooh wee. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna just copy this Whirler Rogue now. No blocks. No blocks in the middle of our street. No blocks. Should have played this watery gray. So the reason we didn't play this untapped was because I wanted to know if we um, if we connected with this, we could play this and play this tapped and not have to worry about it. If we didn't connect with this, we could play this untapped and then still cast Seagate Oracle if we wanted to. So I left our options up. And I think this is still fine because we still get to go Seagate Oracle. What's up, Dan? I'll take the non... Uh... Yeah, I'm not going to untap that for just the the, the hope of, of being able to counter two spells when they only have two cards in hand.
I'm getting a weird deja vu feeling right now. Oh, you don't fly. Um, yeah, probably just cubing today. I don't really foresee myself playing any standards today. Today's going to be a short day. I got back from Denver yesterday, so. Like, whenever I fly, even if it's like, like even if I feel like I get enough sleep, I still, it just leaves me exhausted. <sighs> yeah, this is fine. Oh, let's not do that. All right, they have no cards in hand. Also, if they have managed to anger the gods and we had Reaper out, we've drawn no cards because no one dies. They all get exiled. So let's equip you. Play old Reaper, Reapy McReaperson. And get in there with this guy and this guy. This Kirby Tarpic could actually be problematic. We're only at 12. I guess we're actually at 7. Yeah, I'm surprised we're actually... Uh... Look how... This is, why I, this is why I hate Doomblade. Doomblade is so bad in this... Like, I just, like, I face two decks and I want to board Doomblade out every single time. Okay. That's fascinating. Well, we're getting rid of this guy. I like it. One, two, three, four. You can actually activate Urza too here, which is fantastic. free spells all right we got to watch out for this this creeping tar pit though see you next game what creeping tarpa wins in two swings what we've we drawn chupacabra that's pretty good I don't really want to even draw cards off Nixilis. Oh, I think Urza was very good there. Um, Murderous Redcap doesn't kill a lot of... Eh, it kills some other things, I guess. Eh. Eh. Um, 
Chase Bellerin, Minor, let's take Doomblade out. Red Cap over Doomblade is probably fine. He doesn't kill. It doesn't kill Vampire Nighthawk. It does kill Whirler Rogue and all of its gentlemen. It kills Champion. If I just put Temporal Mastery in the deck. I kind of like Jace. They don't seem terribly aggressive. Let's try one Jace. Oh man, double swamp. How are you going to act? Double swamps. Keep it. Did they go to six? They did. Ooh. 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 Our hand is good. If we can hit lands, I'm all right with it. All right. Here comes Nighthawk again. Oh, yes. Oh, man, we just get to Ashiok here. That's beautiful. Got a Rekindling Phoenix? Okay, so we get the thing, but this goes to their graveyard, so we're not going to actually get... We're not going to get the chicken, unfortunately. Or an Ashiok. We're not going to get the Ashiok either, guys. That was rude. I did not enjoy that level of rudeness. Okay, so I just want an island here. I literally just want an island. They're going to give me Dark Slick Shores, though. Can you guys link the new King Arthur card? That's They gave me a double blue card instead, because why not? Here, this is my life now. Copying chromatic lanterns just so I can get a second blue. Why you gotta be so rude? I'm gonna matter head anyway. Matter that it go, matter head anyway. Your singing is, buddy, I know it. Buddy, you ain't kidding. What is this, four, five, six mana? Seven if we play Urza's. We can actually go Urza into Kira. That seems like gas. Two, three, four, Urza. Oh, not that guy. Kira. Oh, maybe we need to talk like that. Look at all these dragons. Oh boy. Oh boy, we're living that dream for sure. Um, one, two, three, four, come on back, come on back, let's do the things, terminate, kill this guy, can we still play land? 
Oh my god. Eh, okay. <laughs> oh lord. Wait, why didn't the terminate cost two more? Suppose your opponents cast the target this cost two more, right? Spells your opponents cast. I still cast them, right? Oh, did I pay two to kill it to terminate? And then, like, the two was... Okay, that makes sense. I wasn't sure if I tapped two mana or not. Did I tap two mana? I thought Grixis Cube was over. One, one, two, three, four. Then how did I recast Urza? Because I paid four for the Shinobi. I paid three and the tap for the Shinobi. And then I paid, then I had one, two, three, four left over for Urza. How did I? That doesn't make sense though, right? The Shinobi itself costs three mana because I tapped one of the constructs and then one, two, three mana. Which left me with one, two, three, four mana after the mountain, and I used the four mana to cast Urza. I didn't have an extra two mana to target the Icefall region with. Mexico paid for it? <laughs> Holy <laughs> Jesus. Okay, well, I don't know what you took here. I don't know if I tapped you to target it, man. I don't think that happened. I think you're making this up. All right, here we go. Third try with the with the clip. Let's figure out what happened here. Yeah, I didn't tap anything, man. I just I just clicked on terminate and targeted the icefall region. That's all that happened. I tapped no mana. The only mana I have tapped at that time is three swamps, and that was to cast fallen shinobi. What does it say? You may play those cards without paying their mana costs. Is it because I'm not playing? Not it's because I'm not casting it. I'm playing it. Because that is a distinction. Interesting. Okay, so I feel like I have to get rid of this guy. We can then we can attack with most other things. Walladil. Walladil, that makes sense. Okay. So I can cast it for free, and then it tries to modify the cost by two, and then it's like, okay, but you're still casting it for free, so do whatever you want. I think everybody's just going in here. There we go. Okay, thank you guys. Really appreciate the uh, the explanation. I'm glad we figured it out. Oh, are they not even blocking the... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. One, two, three, four, five. Do we just free Urza spell here? Let's do that. That seems more fun than... Spin the wheel, get a segment. Sounds good. Oh, 
I'm gonna feel real silly. Well, I mean, like we only had three three actual mana left, so we couldn't have kept a Vencer anyway. So, I mean, if their last card is Worm Coil and oh, like uh, Massacre on one, two, three, four, five. So we only take ten, and then we still have a blocker. So. Oh, we did have five mana. That's still mana. You're right. Okay, that's not a mask for him. And the, the games go better when we don't face double Tefri quadruple thought sees. hand is good assuming we can draw lands playing against bliff the green deck a eh? hmm I feel like these are all very good against the green deck. Let's draw one more blue land, otherwise known as an island. I'll, I'll take a dark slick shores as well. Oh boy. This is a pro green sword against a green deck, just in case you guys didn't know. Dang it, they got a blue. This is where they go island opposition. Mm, okay, that's fine. I totally accept a Kodama's reach here. Oh boy. Oh boy! Let me draw one land here so I can go spell sky to equip, untap all my, all my lands. Oh, we get two draws too, so it's very possible. Yes. Oh boy, we're living the dream here, ladies and gentlemen.
Man, they're really... This is a tough discard, apparently. They're really uh, mulling this, this decision over here. Primal Command. That's a good hit. I kind of like just killing this, but I also like playing a Signet. I think we're just going to play a Signet here. Like, I'd rather just have... Um, I'd rather have access to the balloon next turn, and I also rather have... I'll just keep... I guess keeping spell skyed up isn't really a big deal because we can just pay the life when we're 19. <laughs> yeah, this is an amateur green sword. I think it just generated income. They discarded a primal command and they took four and we got a bunch of mana out of it. That seems like generating income, right? Wow, cultivate and Kodama's reach? Jesus. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, well. Let's play Aubert. Let's kill this guy. There you go. Okay, if they're getting rid of this, I'm not too scared because they're actually, like, drawing a card, so... I feel better about uh, the amount of mana they have. Uh, we get to keep Venser... Oh, we don't actually get to keep Venser up. Stupid is it, Signet! Dang it. Well, we get to draw three cards next turn, which is pretty sweet. One off Glensleeve, one off Obnixilis. And because they're black sources, uh, we have to pay two life for them. Oh, boy. Oh, we just get to Vizier that next turn? That's nice. Yep. Looking for an island. Looking for an island. Thank you. Um... Do we fall into Shinobi, the green deck? I feel like... Boy, do I feel like we do. Um, oh, but then the sword doesn't actually trigger. See, like, we want the sword to be able to get through, but then, like, it won't trigger off of the Fallen Shinobi. Is that worth it? I don't know. Probably not necessary right now. Like, we can just go Vizier. Copy this thing. attack for four again because it's bonkers I mean you know we could hit like two lands and then I just don't care I'd rather just get the damage through and I'd rather just keep a Venser as well so what we could also do is put sword on the Hornet Queen which seems insane because then we attack with Hornet Queen it gets through, and then we can bounce it with Shinobi. And then we get to just replay our Vizier. Whew. Progenitor Mimic? No. No. That's too much. That's too many Hornet Queens, my dude. I feel like this is just game, right? This is four, and then they have to block all the other dudes. We could have destroyed another creature, but I think we're just winning. And yeah, Doomfall is also a thing. You can stay home. Actually, you can get in there, because if they don't block the spell skite, then we just get a free uh, Fallen sh Okay. Well, that'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. I actually like Murderous Redcap here. It just does does the does the dirty. Um, Kira doesn't seem super relevant, because they didn't have anything that would target our guys.
snap keep. We didn't get to resolve Shinobi. You're right. It's a crime. Oh, boy. If we were on the play, this would be nice. Nope. So we prioritize playing Is It Signet into Urza, or do we actually just kill this thing? I think I just have to kill this thing, right? Yeah, that's fine. I just don't... They can't have six mana next turn. That's too much. This is a decent... Uh, Is it Signet here actually means next turn we can go Glenelinger Archmage with um, counter backup, which is nice. I mean, they can just play Primal Command next turn and bounce our Signet or something. But who knows? Who knows what they're going to do? Yeah, that's unfortunate. Even if we played Reaper, we'd still be able to... Um, we wouldn't be able to get through. So we're just going to play this and then hope to fall on Shinobi next turn. Which could be sweet. Yep. Draw six. That's pretty good. Um, we're going to bounce this anyway, so we really have no reason to take three here. Uh, it does combat damage to a player, huh? This has to be better, right? I think that was good. Whenever you cast your first spell, if it's a non-land card with rest less. This is my first. Oh, that's my first. That doesn't doesn't count, I guess. All right, all right, we're, we're alive. This end of this was pretty nuts. Who knows? Yep, that's a... Wow, these should definitely be different tokens. 4-4 four, four, and 3-3 three, three is not. Having 4-4s four, and 3-3s three, at the same exact token is just sloppy. Yep, that's pretty good. How about Sword of Feast and Famine one time? That would be great. One time. Vizier can't cast it. Okay. Yep. Mono double blue cards in our hand. Fantastic. Unfortunate. 
tempted to splash the green off of the like off of these two to play Finality. Actually, Finale of Eternity is pretty good. Let's play Finale of Eternity in here. We have yet to draw bribery in any of our games. Take Spell Sky out. They're not really targeting much. Oh, uh, the three threes, the blue and the black just means they came in to play this turn or they didn't come in to play this turn. Speak of the devil. I'll keep this. It's slow, but I mean, it's got bribery and an Urza, so what are you going to do? Ideally, we just draw a Signet and then our. Or I'll take a Mindstone, too. Okay. Well, not exactly the same. I'll still take it because it lets us play bribery on four, but. Metamorph into Tri-Builder lets us play Bribery next turn, which could be the, the kind of ramp we need here. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five. I think they're going to have six mana next turn. I'd much rather actually just play. Like, whatever they whatever they play, we're going to just Metamorph. Like, if they go six mana into Rampaging Bailoff, I'll just play Metamorph and then play a land. Yes, obviously you're talking about power and toughness, right? Like, when a creature comes into play, its power and toughness is one of two colors, blue or black. This one's in play, so it's black. When you first cast a creature, it's blue, so you know you can't attack with it. Or not. Maybe that's not true. Interesting. Why were they blue and black, then? I could have sworn that was how you distinguish, but... Um... Oh, now we get the Azid Signet. Well, we're still gonna play this. Copy you, play you, and just pass here. Yes, I, I'm aware about the swirling spiral. <laughs> but there's also other things. I That's so weird. I think what different power and toughness means. Different colored power and toughnesses. Maybe they're only trying to distinguish because it's the same art, so they're like, well, this is a 4 4, this is a 3 3. There's a lot of. Uh... That's what it is. Is that it? So that's my modified? Or, like, maybe the, uh, the construct will be a, a blue power and toughness. I'm not sure. We'll see. I feel like being able to bribe her next turn is pretty good. Bulamog, what's going on, buddy? Man, this is a lot of things that they're doing. Let's see what we got here. Rampaging Bailoths. Horn <laughs> crater Hoof. We could just literally slam this Crater Hoof. 
Has it become legendary? Uh, beginning of upkeep this like to... No, that's not great. We can just take Primeval Titan. Primeval Titan actually seems like the play here. I did not actually see this. That's... God, that's something right there. The thing is, I feel like with uh, Tatiova and Obnixilis, I don't think we even need Consecrated Sphinx, which is a weird thing to say. Also, we're drawing two with Primeval Titan. Yeah, we're definitely Primeval Titaning here. Primal, Primeval Titan also draws us two. It's basically like Consecrated Sphinx. One, two. Nope. Gain... Some, gain some lifers. Discard a land. I mean, if they hit Crater Hoof, I think we're dead. We could have just taken the Crater Hoof as a way to uh, safeguard against Crater Hoof, but it is a one of. Famous last words. Critter's just terrifying. I'm like, oh, it's in your deck? I guess we'll be dead soon. Oh, another... Uh, another perk against not... Not taking Consecrated Sphinx. What just happened? Ar is it Arbor Elf? Garrick, sure. Do they draw three here? Make a beast. Okay, so we'll play a land, draw a card. Venser seems juicy here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. We don't have enough to do everything, unfortunately. Let's go to this guy. Mindstone. One, two, three, four. And then we have one, two, three mana left over. Oh, so close to doom blading. One, two, ten, twelve, thirteen land, thirteen mana. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's fine. We've got enough value off of this. We want to make sure we don't die to a crater hoof, I think. Yeah, so I think we're actually totally safe now. Famous last words, I'm sure. Oh, what up, pernicious dude? Guys are rude. Hmm. 
This is a hard choice. Are they like Crater Hoof or Hornet Queen? Rampaging Balance. I see. Draw six. Seems good. This is okay. I think we're doing okay. We have removal, 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 one, two, four, five, six, one, two, one, two, three, four, and we're good. We're good. Prime time can take out one of these guys. Discard three. Oh, dear God. Oh, geez. Well, that's sad, because I want to take out one of these Planeswalkers. But maybe it's not that bad. Metamorph into Rampaging Baloth. So, one, two, three, four, five for Scarab God. One, two, three, four. Okay, so what we can do... I want to, I want to, I want to Scarab God, Metamorph, Bayloth, and then attack with this with, I guess we don't need the Feast and Famine on there, do we? I do want to untap the mana though, right? One, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, and then we have three mana left up. We'll have a fourth mana, so we can either Venser or um, Doomblade something, which is nice. We'll Doomblade this. Yes, Feast and Famine untaps the land, Josh, but I want to be able to get the two triggers off of this for Rampaging Baloth so I can survive a Crater Hoof. You guys you guys aren't realizing that I have to have Feast and Famine equipped and also Rampaging Baloth in play before this triggers because I want the Primeval Titan triggers to, to hit for the... Um, for the Rampaging Baloth. So this would be 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We are literally one mana shy. What is this about? Like, I have 10 minutes. I can do whatever I want. Like, why is it... That's really obnoxious. Yeah, you could... Yeah, I could... Yeah, we could just venture the Crater Hoof, I guess. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, they can't cast it twice, I guess. Two, three, sword. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. We scarab god here? We got a scarab god, right? Or is it just Liliana? I think this is actually fine. We're actually just attacking your face at this point. That's a lot of mana. Holy Jesus. Cuz if we kill the if we kill this we can just get the get the Baloths back. 
We can actually get Baylos back and Metamorph back, copying the Baylos. We have two Baylos. So that's pretty insane. We use that 5, 10, 11, 12. Have we played a land this turn? I just want to make sure. I don't think so. No. 2, 3, 4, 5. But that's also too many. So we can get back Metamorph, Copy. Actually, I'm just copying Primeval Titans better. Depends on how many lands we have, I guess. The last two. Okay. That should be good. Ah. <sighs> There he is. It's your boy. Also, check out patreon.com slash franklapore if you guys are enjoying the content, because you get to subscribe on Patreon for like a dollar or two dollars a month if that's easier than Twitch, and uh, it definitely helps me out. And... Uh, It's just a, an easy way to support the channel. If you guys are watching on YouTube and you guys don't have Twitch or you guys don't want to make a Twitch account or you don't want to subscribe on Twitch, that's totally fine. But if you guys watch regularly and you do want to support the content, one or two dollars a month on Patreon is a great, great help. Because it adds up. And I really appreciate it. You guys are great. And you can also check out CoolStuffInc.com where I have new articles going up every Wednesday. Including tomorrow if you're watching on Twitch. What's up, Gamma Set? And then you can also check out ManaTraders.com, uh, which is the subscription service that I use, and it's pretty sweet. And you get 20% off the first three months with the promo code and link in the description, so check that out as well. ManaTraders.com. What's going on here? Oh, they're doing math. They're probably doing some crater hoof math. Crater hoof math. Now we share in the same dream. Utopia Sprawl. Okay. Well, Venser, Venser negates all Craterhoof math, so there's no math to be done with Craterhoof, or with, uh, with Venser. This is where people are like, hey man, I have the Venser. And they're like, oh, I see. I suppose I will concede then. Here we go. Let's, uh... Hornet Queen, huh? I mean, that's... These guys have Trample? No? They have one, two, three mana left, four mana left, huh? I'm trying to think if there's any way this can backfire. I don't think so. Just want to thank you for the great content. I spent 14 hours deep cleaning the house and doing laundry while binge watching me out. Dude, that's awesome. I really appreciate that. There we go. 
There we go. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Like I said, patreon.com slash Frank Lepore. Great way to support the channel. Manatraders.com. Coolstuffinc.com. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for the support. I love you guys.